If a test shows coliform bacteria in your well water, it's crucial to make immediate action to make sure the water is safe to use. Coliform bacteria can indicate the presence of harmful contaminants, and disinfecting your well is a proactive way to eliminate them. In this video, we will guide you through the well disinfection process, including everything from adding the right amount of chlorine to flushing and retesting your water. Welcome to MG Factor. By following these steps, you can protect your water supply and ensure clean, safe drinking water for you and your family. Determine the chlorine amount. Calculate the volume of water in your well to add the appropriate amount of chlorine. For most wells, household bleach 5 to 8 percent sodium hypochlorite can be used, but higher concentration may be necessary for severe contamination. You can find this germicidal bleach in any of your hardware store. In my case, I got it from Home Depot. So the first step in this process is to turn off the power supply. Switch off the power to your pump to prevent any risk of electrical hazard. You can also turn off the power to your hot water supply or water softeners. Bypass water softener and filters. Temporarily bypass any water softeners, filters or other treatment system to avoid chlorine damage. You can use chlorine tablets, but somehow I prefer to go with liquid solution as it can directly go into water and mix well. The chlorine tablets might stuck somewhere in the wires and which may damage the wire over time. Now carefully remove the wires out of the way. And in my case, I am using a PVC pipe, which is around five to six feet in length. Uh, this helps to pour the solution directly in the well. Now pour the calculated amount of bleach into the well. It may help to dilute the bleach with water before pouring it in. Use a garden hose to recirculate the chlorinated water back into the well. This helps to distribute the chlorine throughout the entire system. Turn on faucets in the house and let each run until you smell chlorine. 
Repeat for all outdoor spigots. This step ensures that chlorinated water reaches all pipes and fixtures. Let the chlorine sit in the system for 12 to 24 hours. Avoid using the water during this time as it will be highly chlorinated. If you have a septic system, avoid not to flush as it might kill all the bacteria in the tank. After the waiting period, flush the chlorine from the system by running an outdoor hose until there is no longer the chlorine smell. Repeat this process for all the faucets and fixture. Once the chlorine smell is gone, retest the water for coliform bacteria to ensure the disinfection was effective. You can purchase test kit or use a certified lab. In my case, I got this test kit from Amazon. If the problem persists, consult a professional as there could be a more serious contamination issues with your well or septic system. If you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe the channel. Until next time, stay safe and healthy and keep watching MG Factor.